Wow, is this not the coolest, and I mean coolest Absolutely. set. I love this. You'll create this amazing environment for your kids as they walk in. I love these foam icicle lights. They are so cool. You can hang them everywhere and you have instant cool, instant cold, and you create this environment full of snow and ice. And even this little border here, with the dripping snow, so you're gonna create this entire Everest atmosphere at the base of the Himalayas. And yes. I love, too, these signs. When I walked in here and saw these, I Super thought cool. they were like tin. Yeah, they look no, weathered. No, you can get these signs in the poster packs. So yes, so easy. Beautiful. So we've got all of these pre-done for you. That's great. What else do we have here? Well, Shannon? of course, as we prepare for our trek up Mount Everest, we have all of the gear. So there's a lot of stuff that we're gonna need to get to the top of that mountain and it's all right here. This is one of my favorite parts. We've made so this great. shack. And so for some directions on that, we'll be doing a video later or you can get directions at a VBS fun shop if you attend one of those in the spring. So super, super cool and it really looks incredible and was not difficult at all. I actually thought it was part of the church when I walked it, in here, but it it's great? been built just for VBS. No, it's cardboard. So, so <laughs> easy. We just painted it. And then all of this gear. Now I love this because we were able to include all of the members of the church. We just did a shout out for people who had mountain gear and it came flooding in. And of course, it's the middle of the summer, but no one is gonna be camping <laughs> this week because this is VBS week. And so everybody's we helping. Yeah. Yeah, and you just hang it up. People were so happy to donate it. And it gives you so much color and just that real it. feeling of actually taking a trek. So what a great first impression. One of the things we wanted to do was create kind of a snowy, really cold feeling throughout the church. Of course, it's the middle of the summer. Perfect. I think it's going to be 90 <laughs> degrees today. So how do we do that? Well, an inexpensive thing that we found is this fabric batting. That's now, great. Now, it's so great. We were able to buy this in large rolls in bulk so much cheaper. So at a fabric store, at a craft store, or even at Walmart, that is the way to go. Get those big bolts because you're going to use it Perfect. everywhere. Drape it over anything that will stand still. Perfect. Well, and not only that snow, but you have to have some icicles, don't you think? And <laughs> what? Favorite. Oh, what kid doesn't love to run through an icicle curtain? And this is available. You can get it from us. Yes. And you just tack it up, and it just covers lots of space. And see, it, see how much fun it is. You just go through. So let's try it out. Let's try and it. And um, hang it everywhere. Icicles everywhere. It's Do cool. It. Here we go. Here we are inside of our glacier and we wanted to show you how cool these foam icicle lights look when they're kind of a little bit in the dark. And they have lots of different settings, so they're super easy to work with. Here we have all of the different colors and to replicate the idea of sun hitting ice and it just splinters off into an array of millions of colors but you can change up the look a bit. So just here at the bottom, we've got a little button. You can just press it. You can get a slow moving color that just kind of stays more stagnant. We also have party lights icicles. If you wanted to use that maybe during your sing and play. And then even off, they look really, really cool. So they're very versatile, tons and tons of options. Every church needs a glacier, and so that's what we've created here, and it's so, so simple. Well, first of all, you can ask people all year long for white sheets. Great, great idea. Get lots of people to do that, and you can create your snow right here with that, or you can get white fabric, which is really cheap and easy to do, and just get bolts of it, put it everywhere, just drape it everywhere. It makes great for snow. And then I love this. This is our snow scene setter. So you can just get this from group. And uh, what I like about this is you can wall off anything. So this church is huge. And actually, that's a whole cafe back there. But we don't want kids to go in there. So we've actually created this little spot here where the glacier wall comes and creates its tunnel. And it's great. At the base of the tunnel, let's see here, Shannon, we've got this Cora buff that's yes. silver and shiny and cool. You can create that for some craggy rocks along the way. And I love how you can create this, this whole piece so simply and easily. And it's just white and clear and cool and snowy. And uh, even throw in a ladder if you want to, if you really want to have the cool climbing effect Absolutely. of climbers using those ladders. And I love how even the, the benches we've covered with white so that it just looks like snow and it's leading to our snow tunnel. So should we go down there? Let's do it. Let's get to that ice tunnel. All right, let's go. 
I absolutely love this tunnel feel where you can make it as big or as small as you want to. And using this snow scene setter, you can create just this ice covering and you can walk underneath it and it can lead right to this beautiful ice cave. So what is this, Sheena? This what is, is so this? cool. So this we just amazing. took some more of those sheets that we have been collecting all year. Perfect. So we cannot stay enough, collect those sheets from your <laughs> church. And so what we've done is built a little bit of a PVC frame that almost looks a little bit like an igloo, if you can imagine, yeah. out of PVC. Yeah. And then we just stuffed the sheets here. So sheets naturally have one kind of a pocket at the top. So we mm -hmm. kind of slid into that to fit the PVC through and then just replicated the pocket at the bottom of the sheet. So it's everywhere. So, yeah. yeah, and we just kind of have draped it over it. It gives it such a cool feeling. But for step-by-steps oh. on that, um, a little bit of more instruction, uh -huh. you can get that at a VBS Fun Shop coming up this spring or also online at groupvbs.com. And here we are this. in I our main this. hallway. Oh, cool. It's so, so cool. Well, this beautiful blue light is just giving everything that kind of chilly cool. Arctic I know, feel. I feel cool. That's why I have my sweater. Yes, so we were <laughs> so lucky. This church already had a beautiful skylight. So we just took some cellophane and just taped it up there on top of it. So it just gives that wonderful sense of color and coldness throughout the entire building. Very cool. And what I also love is that we've recycled, if anyone is familiar with group yes. CBS, <laughs> sky backdrop. This blue can go everywhere and icy blue is perfect. And I love how we've hung this great icicle doorway fun everywhere throughout the church. Even the pastor's office, we put a little surprise. So that yes, and he he's loves part it. of the fun. He's part of the fun. And I, I can I have to mention these great signs which I want to clank on them and they are paper and you can get them in our poster pack and they're so authentic looking if you've ever been in that area that's exactly what they look like so it's great well if you've been with group vbs for even a little while you may recognize what i'm holding as a rock that we often use in bible <laughs> so we have just used these in everywhere every single year they're just made out of some paper bags that we get at our grocery store our grocery store gives them to us for free i've also seen them available for purchase at target in hundred packs so if you're not as lucky as we are to have a very nice <laughs> grocer, dust them up with a little bit of brown paint to make them look authentic. And so here on the top of our mountains, we have lots of rocks and crags and super, super cool. Great. And if you're entering into the glacier, you'll need a climbing ladder and climbing ropes and everything. Well, what I love about this is you can gather real ladders if you want to, but this is actually a really fun project for your uh, budding builders and taking plywood and, and this and putting it together and spray painting it. And it looks like an aluminum ladder. It does, it looks perfect and it's and so it's light. light. It's lightweight and it easy to put it. everywhere so we can take it to climb into our our crevices. Yes, Great. and then down here on the ground, we've got all of our climbing rope. Now, again, I was able to get all of this donated from a rock climbing gym here in town. They just had tons and tons of extra rope that wasn't quite sturdy enough to be used for climbing anymore, but works perfect as a prop. And so here we have it in the hallway and kids can pull and just go down the length of it and feel like they're really getting the real Everest experience. If you've been with us for a while, we first made these little PVC cement form stands for Crocodile Duck, and I have used them every year every since year. then in some <laughs> way. So currently, these are supporting Good. our climbing rope, so it gives so just a little cute. bit of leverage. It's a way for us to have the rope out for kids without having to attach it to the wall. Oh, easy, um, easy. Yes, because as we all know, our churches don't love, love, love it <laughs> when we have <laughs> pinholes and tape marks on the wall. So this is saving your walls. They'll love this. It's more and authentic. We've just covered it with some brown craft paper uh -huh. that I was able to find at the dollar store. So oh. A dollar for a roll, we did the entire haul and it cost nearly nothing. That's great. How easy is this to create your own Himalaya mountain range? I love it. This is a cardboard slats that are from a shipping company. And we got them free and we're painted and just make them craggy jaggy and paint them different colors so that you get, you can have the snow top peaks and then the mountains in the distance and the closer mountains you notice the different colors and just make them smaller, smaller. See so that you create this, this perspective of the mountains. And not to mention putting a bunch of your climbing gear, packing, backpacking gear, 
and no worries if it's a little dirty. Some people may say, you can't use our stuff because it's dirty. That's great. It makes it all the more authentic. We decided that we would ask the church if they had a fan, and lo and behold, they did. <laughs> and this is the most amazing thing, that we are actually going to create our own windstorm here yes. at Everest. Our very it's own Arctic be, wind. I know, it's going to be great. I love this beautiful preschool place. Tell us, Shannon, so, how we can do so this. So fun. Well, it's, we have huge halls. This church is beautiful. So <laughs> much great. space. But you will see a lot of use of our scene setters. And they're great because they're yes. so affordable and they cover so much space. So we actually have taped two of them together. So we have our large snowflakes on top going down into nice. our snow scene setter nice. at the bottom. But really covers it and it. makes it feel awesome in here. I love it and I love how we also use again the silver core above and make it those craggy little rocks and this batting that you can get so yes. cheaply and also the snowflakes hanging from the ceiling are beautiful. They are. Our preschool yes. kids have loved being in here all week. It's great. I love Kid Vid Cinema. And you know what's so great is that you can create a darkened room. So it's not scary for kids that might be afraid of the dark, but you just do enough so that you can use these great um, icicle lights. Yes. And this actually is an open window that we just covered with scene setter. So tell us how we can make this whole room beautifully dark. Yeah, so our theme here is Everest at night. So we have these wonderful starry scene setters available for purchase at groupbbs.com. And you know, they cover so much space. But here, our ceilings were kind of high. So what we did is we just taped two together and it covers the entire expanse from ceiling to ground which is what you want. I love it, and it's Everest at night, and so of course you have to have the tent with the sleeping bags and more camping gear and everybody's out for the night. Yes, we even and had someone relax. bring in their hiking boots. <laughs> so no prop left yeah. behind, we can use it all. I know it, even this little walking stick, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> This is beautiful. Yes, our crew signs. I love it. You know, I tell you, we truly never throw anything away. These are the same little plywood bases that we have been using forever. Just covered nice. up with some white fabric <laughs> and a little bit of down gives us this nice feeling of snow and or it could clouds. Be cloud if you're way high up. Yeah. yeah, and then so easy. We've just zip tied our poster from the poster pack right to the PVC. So there Great. you go. Now that may be all above the tree line, but. When you're at the tree line, you want to collect all these Christmas trees from people in your congregation. It's great, and people will bring them out and have a use for them year-round. 